Hey gorgeous souls, I hope you're having a great day and uh, jumping in with today's live video around reactivity. Why is, uh, you know, why do we feel so reactive at times where we feel like somebody says something or somebody does something and we take it so, so personally. Now there can be a few different reasons for this, um, but underneath a lot of this is our own level of self-love and what we're making an event or a situation or a circumstance mean. And the trickiest part about that is often we unconsciously are creating a meaning uh, around a certain situation where we're not even aware that we've made it mean that particular thing. That's honestly what's causing the reactivity. And it can be really challenging when we're going through these experiences to actually uh, be able to stop and to identify and to ask yourself, what am I making this mean? Why am I so upset? Uh, what's going on here for me uh, where um, somebody's clearly upset or something's going on for them, uh, but now we become enmeshed in that situation and get caught up in that situation uh, and feel really, really triggered emotionally. Now the two keys to stepping out of this is actually self-love and emotional wisdom. Emotional wisdom allows us to come back into a place where we're self-regulating our emotions. Uh, we're able to stop and ask greater questions. We're able to stop to breathe uh, and to make a greater choice in that moment because otherwise when we're emotionally reactive, uh, generally what happens is somebody else is upset, they've said something, we're now upset, now we're saying something and you've got two people that are operating from their ego wounded mind, uh, operating from a wound that has occurred maybe 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago uh, and they're being triggered in that moment. Now this is a true opportunity to step in and to heal that wound to become aware of that wound but often we don't recognize that as an opportunity and often we can get caught up in the story of this always happens to me or they always do this they always act that way um, or uh, something else where we're literally projecting our own wounding onto them simply because it got triggered as a result of what we were making it mean uh, even in the most difficult situations, and I've certainly done this uh, myself over the years. Hey, Erica, great to have you on here, Dom. Before I learned a lot of this stuff, uh, and uh, that was, you know, it was a really, really difficult situation where somebody, it did seem that somebody was personally attacking me and personally criticizing me. They were being very direct with me, uh, and it was done over text message, which was really a uh, very fascinating and interesting time for me in my life. I probably would have called it many other things uh, back then, uh, but it was this really challenging time. And I got to really understand what actually was going on at the deeper level, A, what was going on for that person, um, what needs they were trying to meet through that particular behavior, and what I was making it mean. And uh, when I was able to heal that within myself, uh, it had so much less impact on me than what it did uh, previous to that or prior to that when I really understood what I was making that mean and how I really felt about that rather than understanding this person is in a world of pain and they're operating from a place of revenge, meaning that if I hurt you, it makes me feel better. Now, for somebody to do that, they have to be so low in their own level of self-love, uh, in their own level of uh, well-being and alignment with themselves and connection with the heart center that they have to be in a place of pain. Uh, so you've probably heard the statement, you know, hurt people, hurt people. Now, I'm not condoning the behavior. I'm not saying that it's okay to do that. Um, but it is understandable and this is what helps us to step back more objectively and to no longer take things so personally. The other two things, like I mentioned before, is having emotional wisdom, being able to change your emotional state regardless of what's going on around you. Not always easy um, to do, uh, but it is so, so powerful because anytime that we're upset with somebody else, now we're blaming them essentially for the way that we feel and believing that we can't feel better until they change their behavior or they change in some way, shape or form. And that leaves you feeling powerless and out of control or Certainly in my situation, it, it certainly made me feel that way. Hey, Kim, great to have you on here, Dom. 
Um, so by understanding emotional wisdom, how to recenter yourself, how to come back to yourself and at the deeper level, how to love and value yourself and transform the old narrative or the old stories from the past that have us uh, feeling that we're not enough, that have us feeling that we're not lovable um, or have us feeling that there's something wrong with us or that it's always my fault or any of those stories. I've had so many of those stories for myself over the years and being able to transform those uh, stories helped me to become become much more centered, to become much more responsible for my life, what I'm attracting into my life and into conversations and also being able to work through situations, perhaps with an intimate partner or perhaps, um, you know, with other loved ones or other relationships to really understand what's going on at the deeper level. Because often, like I mentioned, there's two people with totally different wounding believing that the argument or believing that the situation is about what's actually really going on in that moment when it is not, it is a trigger for a pain in the past that has not yet been healed. And like I mentioned, it is a true opportunity when you're feeling reactive to really take that time to step back and to A, breathe, reground, recenter yourself, uh, but to look at what is actually really going on underneath. And if you're not sure how to do that, uh, reach out to me, please send me a PM. Being able to be emotionally wise in these times, uh, particularly with everything that's going on in the world more than ever before, uh, is absolutely what is needed to heal your body, what is needed to feel better, what is needed in order to live a happy and successful life. And of course, success can be you know, determined in so many ways and is a very personal thing as to what success personally means for you. But in terms of feeling a really happy, vibrant, um, you know, or feeling happy and living a very vibrant and energetic life, uh, having emotional wisdom and a very strong, solid grounding of self-love where you're able to not only internally validate yourself, so recognizing your own magnificence, your own awesomeness, and also being able to see and embrace all the aspects of our self, uh, what we would uh, call in everyday, uh, you know, uh, terminology of, of the good and the bad within ourself. When you embrace those parts of yourself, uh, it's really hard to take things personally uh, because you know that about yourself, you accept that about yourself. That is wise, that is wisdom, uh, and that is true self-awareness. And uh, we can become such a, a greater solid platform then for others uh, when they're going through you know, challenges and, and different situations. So having that emotional wisdom, having that ability to love ourselves, also enables us, allows us to be able to receive feedback from others or to receive external validation. Um, but in a really balanced way where you're able to discern with a, a, a beautiful filter of, hey, somebody's having a really bad day or somebody's having a really tough time. Um, I, you know what, I'm not going to you know, take that personally or hey, you know what, I did speak, you know, a little bit blunt or I was a little bit short with them or, um, yep, yeah, they've got a point there. And we can take that on board without it derailing our self-esteem or without it derailing our sense of self um, or eroding uh, our sense of self-love. So all of those things are so, so important, not only uh, from a personal happiness perspective, but also for your soul evolution, for who you're becoming and how you're growing every single day as well. So have an amazing rest of your day. Uh, if uh, this is really special, to you and like I mentioned if you are feeling particularly reactive and you're feeling exhausted you're feeling tired you're feeling resentful you're feeling like you just continue uh, to uh, do everything for everybody and you are not able to fill your cup you are on the crazy hamster wheel and do not know how to get off send me a PM let's book in a time to chat uh, it's so important that you heal these things because otherwise life just continues to bring us more and when uh, you are aware of how you're creating your reality by the emotional state that you are habitually in every single day, uh, you can change things in such a powerful way through the emotions of appreciation, gratitude, so many other things. Uh, but the best thing is you feel so much more in control and you're connected to your own inner power, not power over others. Um, although we can positively influence people in a very powerful way, uh, but it is so much more fulfilling to live a life from a place of feeling connected to your own inner power. So have an amazing day. Lots of love. Bye for now.